Hi everyone, it's Nicole here. Welcome back to my channel. In this week's video, I'm featuring a book from my art book collection that I'm rereading in light of the Black Lives Matter movement. I'm reading it with fresh eyes. It's always good to do that. And I'm, I'm kind of delving in a bit more, getting more deep. <laughs> and um, I'm featuring this particular artist, Betty Saar, uh, and this phrenologer's window which was completed in 1966, but just wanted to sort of give you a little bit of an introduction. Um, Back to Black um, was a, an exhibition book that makes, yeah, it's not something that you can buy online, I found out. And it was given to me uh, by, by a friend uh, on World Book Day in 2015, that was in March, uh, a friend Tanya gave, we swapped books, and this was one of the books she gave me. And it's a really, I think it's quite a rare, book. I'm um, really chuffed that she gave it to me. Um, it's by Richard J. Powell, David A. Bailey, Patrine Archer-Straw, and it includes curatorial essays and, and works in this exhibition. Now I'm going to detail a lot of the sort of introduction um, in the description uh, because I want to really get to the point of this particular piece. It's, a, it's quite a striking, in, in my mind, striking piece that, I, that was calling me <laughs> when I was sort of looking through the book again. And this was the one that I chose to feature this week. The Phrenology's Window. Um, it's an assemblage of two panel wood frames with a print and collage. And I'm going to read the excerpt I found out. I did want to look into it a bit f further, so I looked online. I found an excerpt from the Pacific standard time it's an unusual name for a website and um at the getty center it's quite interesting and um let me see right i'm going to read it as it as it is so it says as america witnessed the rise of the civil rights movement in the 1960s artists including noah purifoy and betty Saar turned to assemblage and collage as powerful expressions of African-American experience. Saar's assemblage and college collage constructions merge personal and family history with broader themes of cultural and political segregation. In the phrenologist's window, Saar pasted eclectic objects and imagery, or sun and moon, symbols, fragments of advertising, vintage photographs, the lid of a tin can. I didn't realise that was the lid of a tin can when I first looked at it. It just shows you what... It's, it's a good idea to do a little bit of research and fresh eyes do bring out the details. And it's inside a found wooden window frame. So that kind of recycling, I, that's what I like, like about it as well. Using old materials with new ideas. And the work alludes to the outdated pseudo science or phrenology which raised questions about an individual based on the measurements of the head mm. <laughs> that was the, the years ago I mean there are still some racist scientists out there but them days were really really quite rife with them and yes um, and I just think it's fascinating that this particular artist used that and expressed her, her art this way um, well, yeah, hopefully these kinds of racist ideas will be no more. Absolutely. They've got to go. Um, but I just wanted to share this particular piece. It's a really fascinating piece. I liked it a lot when I saw it and I, it's grown on me since I've been talking about it to you. OK, thank you for watching. And next week I could possibly do another um, feature of an artist. It's up to you. Let me know what you think in the comments. Um, stay safe and bye for now.